Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video guys, my name is Chief Pat and today we're going to be hopping into a couple of replays using this new deck I made which is absolutely insane. I know I talk a lot of smack about the Royal Giant and the Three Musketeers but putting them together for this deck was actually pretty funny and I actually never lost using it. I started off with three ties in a row before I got into this next battle right here. So let's go ahead and check out this replay against Dopa. Okay so you can see my starting hand, I have both the Royal Giant and and the three musketeers which are pretty sketchy cards to say the least he's gonna start off with that elixir collector and I actually played my cannon right off the bat I should have tried to push maybe if I could have uh, but I decided not to play that cannon and now we're gonna start in the back with the royal giant you can only imagine what's going through this guy's head I sent a thumbs up because I actually thought it was pretty funny he's gonna play a mortar on defense which was sort of strange to me and uh, yeah we're saving up our elixir right now looks like he has an ice wizard on the right hand side but let's play our three musketeers on the bottom right and this is where it's sure to get pretty weird as we start pushing the right hand lane now the mortar is actually a pretty good counter to the three musketeers the mortar uh, does probably about maybe 35 to 40 percent damage for every shot that it gets off on him so you can see one of my musketeers already died but it looks like a pair of them were actually able to get close to the tower and we've taken a little bit of a lead so far but there goes his mortar on the right side of the map so i dropped my valkyrie just in time in order to take it out that actually worked pretty well He's going to play his Ice Wizard to try to help out, and now I'm actually going to go ahead and freeze him, and I dropped that freeze at the perfect time. The Mini P.E.K.K.A. had just gone down, Goblins are going to be able to clean that up, Valkyrie's going to be able to clean up that Mortar right there, and so far so good, even though he's set up with another Cannon, we can start saving up our Elixir for another Royal Giant push. That sounds extremely awful to say out loud, I don't know if I've ever said the word Royal Giant push in my entire life. Uh, but I'm going to. We're going to save up. We're at 9 Elixir right now. Let's go ahead and drop it in the back. And then now that that's gone down, he played his Elixir Collector. We're going to try to do another push with the crazy three Musketeers and see if this one can go just a little bit better. Okay, so he's going to play another Defensive Mortar. A little bit strange. You don't see that too often. We're going to follow up with our three Musketeers. Notice how far back I played them. I didn't actually want uh, them to get caught by a Mortar shot while trailing the Royal Giant. Looks like the Royal Giant doing an amazing job. Look at him go. He's actually going to take out that mortar somehow some way and look as my three musketeers get onto the tower they are going to go insane on that tower they're all almost at full hp they're just going to keep running down the lane and at this point dopa actually gave up he was too intimidated by the royal giant the three musketeer the two best cards inside of the entire game are way too op and that actually gave us a three crown victory and after three straight draws using this deck we picked up our first win without actually losing with it so pretty cool stuff i didn't actually think I'd win with the Royal Giant at any point in my life, but I guess I'm proven different. But anyways, let's go and check out our deck. I'm going to switch in the Giant Skeleton for the Royal Giant uh, because, guys, the Royal Giant is a terrible card. Everyone knows it is. Don't tell him. Don't hurt his feelings, but he's just a really bad card right now. So let's swap in the Giant Skeleton, which should be an amazing addition into this deck, and that's what I'm going to use against David GG right here. So another Mortar user. Pretty annoying. It's not the worst thing with this deck, though. I feel like um, like poison spell users, rockets, fireballs, those obviously dominate the um, the three musketeers. Let's go and play a cannon to try to distract that mortar. Obviously not going to work out too well. And I'm uh, going to drop some skeletons to try to distract. But again, things aren't really looking too hot as that mortar is going crazy on our tower. Okay, so our spear goblins are trying to help out just a bit. And looking at the right-hand side, he decided to neglect that other tower. And even though he got a couple of mortar shots off onto my left-hand side, uh, that giant bomb is going to do an insane amount of damage. So let's play our Valkyrie to distract the mini P.E.K.K.A. as well as the skeletons. But look at the damage that that giant bomb did from the uh, the giant skeleton, dropping that tower to a thousand HP and showing you why the giant skeleton is definitely a better addition uh, than the royal giant. I think that the giant skeleton is fantastic for this deck because you can use it against spawners, um, you can use it to tank some of the heavy pushes that someone might do with a P.E.K.K.A. or a Prince or a Dark Prince or anything like that, so let's go ahead and keep going. And as I started to play this deck, even though I thought I was trolling in the very beginning, I found it to be extremely strong. There were still many circumstances that it 
didn't work out too well, uh, but still, I found a lot of success. People, of course, can just fireball and rocket you, but a lot of times they'll make mistakes, and the moment they do, your three musketeers will go crazy, or your giant bombs will assassinate the tower. It looks like he was able to get one more mortar shot off before that mortar died, which honestly was a little bit surprising. I didn't think it would happen, and I'm going to go ahead and drop a laugh, because I never expected to win with this deck in the first place, and that's going to give us our first tower of the game. Now, unfortunately, that Valkyrie was just a half second too late. She's actually not going to be able to tank the damage from the mortar, and with the mortar doing over 330 damage per hit, it's going to make it a little bit difficult to defend that left-hand tower. So for the last minute of, of double time, it's going to be pretty much a struggle to defend that side. I've already taken out the right-hand side. He does have a weak king, king tower, so I could just go for the win on the top right-hand side of the map. He's going to play an Elixir Pump, which was pretty sketchy to me. I'm not sure why you would play that Elixir Pump going into overtime when he's sort of fighting for his life. But at this point, let's go ahead and keep pushing. The three Musketeers on the left-hand side. He's going to play the Mortar on defense. And I was thinking at this point, he must just be giving up. If you're playing the Mortar on defense all the way behind your tower, I had no idea what he was doing. Look at those girls go against that tower. The giant skeleton's going to explode. Knock out that Ice Wizard as well as a tower in the fell swoop. That's going to be two crowns to zero for... Uh, our three musketeer giant skeleton deck and at this point with only 17 seconds left in the battle looks like this one is pretty much over i built a cannon on his side i'm gonna follow up with some three musketeers they're gonna go nuts on this king tower and that's gonna give, give us yet another three crown to zero victory using this deck of course we substituted in the giant skeleton and judging from this battle you can see why that was an appropriate substitution you're getting over a thousand damage from that giant bomb that you can use uh, against either the towers or a cluster of troops. So let's go ahead and hop into another replay using this deck. At this point, I was definitely sold on the giant skeleton. And uh, let's see if we can take this guy out. Okay, so we're finally not playing a mortar user, I think. This guy looks like he's playing the hog rider as well as the princess. Starting off, I don't have my giant skeleton, so it's going to be a little bit rough. Of course, I just dropped a laugh because this guy doesn't know what he's in store for. He's going to see the three musketeers on the map, and I'm sure that's probably a little bit weird for him, but unfortunately, he's going to have a fireball. Now, this is going to be a great example of a battle of what to do when your opponent has the fireball. You're going to have to try to do a bunch of different stuff. I actually dropped some goblins, which probably not the smartest idea, but I was able to bait out his cannon. And my musketeer is out of range of the cannon as I drop a thumbs up, giving us a little bit of extra damage as he pumps up in the center of his map. So finally, at this point, we have our giant skeleton, which is the core of our push, so we can sort of reset from here. He's actually going to drop the Hog Rider Goblin push. I know that he's going to drop a zap, uh, so the skeletons are going to die anyways, but now, after this Hog Rider goes down, we can go on the counter attack with our giant skeleton in front of our Valkyrie, and let's go ahead and drop our Spear Goblins as well. So, so far, so good. This is looking like a really good push. Obviously, the Princess is really strong against the Spear Goblins, but look as the giant skeleton runs towards the tower. He's going to go for the elixir collector the valkyrie's gonna help him out and as he waddles over to that tower say goodbye to the left hand side of the map because he's about to go boom giving us the first round of the game okay so mini pekka hog rider counter push we can obviously use our valkyrie to help out as well as we could have dropped our cannon but seeing as our king tower is finally in play i think he might have zapped it or fireballed it when we had our three musketeers uh, that's going to give us a little bit of help that we need and with 449 damage left on that left hand side all we have to do is play defense for the rest of the battle and we should be able to wrap up this game however he does have the fireball so of course he could just fireball our tower down but in case he ever drops the fireball i'm just going to drop my three musketeers uh, which should go crazy and pretty much win the game for us and meanwhile look at the valkyrie on the very top the valkyrie by herself brought the tower down to 2600 2300 hit points so that side is looking extra juicy in case we want to end the game okay so princess gonna have to die from the valkyrie looks like he's debating on what to do he's gonna drop a cannon and an elixir collector a little bit sketchy elixir collector again only 35 seconds left he's not gonna get full value out of that and at this point i realized what he's gonna try to do he just dropped the fireball on the left hand side and now that's going to give me my three musketeers an opening to go absolutely crazy uh, depending on what we want to do. Now, of course, we do need to take care of this Hog Rider push, which we will use skeletons, goblins, and freeze to take care of. But now look at the left-hand side. We have the Valkyrie, we have a couple of spear goblins that just died to the princess. And as he fireballs our tower, this game is pretty much over because the spear goblins, or sorry, the giant skeleton is on the tower, and as soon as he explodes, that's going to do for this game. And honestly, it doesn't even look like he needs to explode. He's just going to forehead smash it until the tower goes down. Good game and another three crown to zero. I guess one victory using this deck. 
really strong. It catches a lot of people off by surprise. They don't expect the giant skeleton. They don't expect the three musketeers. Uh, they don't expect you to be that crazy. But just take a look at this battle log. It's pretty nuts. And, uh, it, and overall, it just gave me a ton of victories. I didn't lose with this deck. I didn't even lose with the Royal Giant and take a look earlier. I was just drawing with the Royal Giant. It's a pretty safe deck. You can obviously play defensive with the um, Giant Skeleton as well as a couple of other cards, just your cannons. So, yeah. Really fun stuff. I love playing troll decks like this, especially the Three Musketeers. I honestly still think that they aren't the strongest card, but um, if you can catch someone in a bad situation, they're obviously deadly. So we'll see what happens. If you guys want to try out this deck and let me know what you think, just drop a comment in the comment section below or hit me up on Twitter. If you can actually win a battle with the Royal Giant, then I salute you. You are a true hero. And yeah, that is going to do it for this video. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace!